This is an instructional video for the Quick Lot Interventional Hemostatic Pad and not instructions for a medical procedure. Please watch the video in its entirety and always adhere to the standard of care followed at your institution and the product instructions for use. Applying the pad is intuitive and simple and it readily conforms to the puncture site. Let's take a look at how Quick Lot Interventional is used. First remove the hemostatic pad from packaging and place pad into the sterile field using a septic technique. Do not wet the pad with saline before using it. Use as is. Place quick clot on the puncture site and apply manual compression on the pad for at least five minutes or until bleeding stops. Only a small amount of blood is needed to accelerate the clotting cascade when using quick clot. Users should apply manual pressure over the quick clot pad. Keep in mind that arterial punctures using large dilators will require longer manual compression time. Following placement of the hemostatic pad, healthcare professionals are encouraged to continue to use the standard of care they currently follow at their institution regarding manual compression at the puncture site, time to ambulation, and time to patient discharge. Without moving or lifting the pad, apply adhesive bandage or equivalent over pad while maintaining manual compression on the pad. Secure adhesive bandage to skin. You may leave quick clot in place for up to 24 hours. To remove, gently peel away adhesive bandage and gently remove pad. Instead of pulling tegaderm off like a band-aid, hold skin taut and stretch the tegaderm to assist in its removal. Hydrate quick clot with sterile saline or water to aid in the removal without disrupting the clot. As you can see, from application to hemostasis to removal, Quick Clot Interventional is a comfortable, safe, cost-effective and easy-to-use device for diagnostic and interventional procedures.